are small. Trailer's torn after that one. But, um, pretty much starting off with the uh, Freedom Tackle chatterbait, as you guys can see. I have a straight shank hook on there. Uh, just because I don't really need it weedless right now, so I changed out the hook. And this is just a little, like, creature that I have a trailer. I remember what brand it is, but that's not on the street. If I just last a couple more fish. Nice. felt like grass, but it was not grass. Nice. So weird. <sighs> They're sitting in 20 feet of water. <laughs> it up to a little frame tackle structure jig three eighths falls really slowly looks delicious i had it rigged up actually because i just pitched a couple of trees i figured uh I saw these blobs <laughs> swimming around in 20 feet and these blobs ended up being uh some large mouth thing they're literally sitting in a pod in 20 feet of water like schooling up out there hmm. this is the weirdest thing they're like i've never seen largemouth do this they're behaving like smallmouth and to my understanding there are smallmouth in this lake it's so weird <laughs> Well, I got out of the wind here a little bit, so let me uh, finally film an intro, but hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. It's a pretty muggy day out today. Uh, we got some forest fire smoke and just overall just really humid out, but um, I'm out today, of course, looking for some bass. As you guys saw, uh, we found some pretty weird acting largemouth um, just around the corner here. Literally like a pod of probably eight, nine, or ten. I'm assuming they're all largemouth. Um, I only call it largemouth, but uh, all sitting together in like 20, 21 feet. So very odd. Um, 
it does make sense. The water is really warm, but I can't say I've seen that before, which kind of is lingering on my mind a little bit now because uh, I am thinking of pushing out from all the MILF and everything that I'm sitting in right now and looking at that 20 foot range to see if I can maybe catch a couple of more. Uh, but as you guys saw, I'm fishing a chatterbait. I got a little structure jig and I have a little swim bait uh, I pulled out as well. Uh, but now I'm thinking I might put on a spinnerbait because a spinnerbait gets down a little bit deeper than a chatterbait. We'll see, we'll see what I find. But yeah, let's uh, go do some fishing. Barely hooked. What are we gonna do with you? Oh, there you go. Cool. No big ones yet, but look at that. Choked it. Just a little uh, 316s, possibly. Used to say on there, but it rubbed off. Uh, Freedom Packles from Big Head. And uh, three inch twin bait there. Super finesse. Definitely cleaning them up now. <laughs> 18 feet of water. <laughs> well, it looks like deep is uh, the way to go today. We haven't got one too, too big yet, but I'm sure that will happen eventually. Just literally the grass ends at about 17 feet here. And I'm just fishing right off the grass. So like 18 feet right now. Saw some fish in 20 as well. Just right outside of the grass. Oh, that was pretty cool. <laughs> it's cool when you can watch the one that go live eat it. <laughs> Hello. <sighs> You're still small enough for me to boat flip you. <laughs> Right at the boat. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> not, not in trouble water. That was so cool. <laughs> That's a 
non c'è ecco oh. ah that's pretty cool <ride> That feels a little better. Feels a little better. Oh my god, look at all those fish down there. It's like four of them. My goodness. 22 feet of water. This is <laughs> This is crazy. This feels like a big fish. Oh, yeah. Now we'll go for four pounds all day. Got, oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, my God. how he was hooked. <sighs> Barely hooked. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, there you go, guys. It's a good fish right there. Look at that mouth. <laughs> Send him back. Go back to your 22 feet layer. Well, that's a good way to end my day. <laughs> I'll see you guys back at the garage. The boat is backed in. And that is a wrap for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, definitely something a little different, something that I wasn't expecting, finding a large mouth in 20 plus feet of water. Uh, but a couple of baits that I used today, the chatter bait you guys saw, the jig you guys saw, and a couple of swim baits uh, in there as well. Ended up with one good fish at the end there. And uh, yeah, overall it's pretty, uh, pretty fun time out on the water. I'm gonna leave links to all of the baits that I use down below in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one.